How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Today I want to talk to you about possibly the most undervalued stock that is EV related. Now I've actually talked about this one time on the channel before but I think a lot of other people have forgotten about it and it's only gotten more valuable over the last few months and I think it's severely undervalued but let me paint a picture for you. If you guys don't mind though, hitting the like button and hitting the subscribe button, I really appreciate that. I usually talk about crypto, but I had to bring this to your attention. Also, in case you guys want to hear about these things in the future, I'm up over 30% on this stock, uh, and I think it's gonna blow up from here, but if you guys want that information earlier, you can check out the Patreon. Also, there is a link down there in case you want interest rate on your cryptos over on BlockFi. Now, Tesla has gotten people to go insane, right? Their, their founder has literally said that he wants to sell 10% of his stake and it's still a $1 trillion company, right? It's, it was even higher than that. It was like $1.2 trillion. And the gains that people have made in Tesla have been so insane that people are looking for anything that is going to give them a similar return. So they keep on looking at EV stocks. Now we can see that very obviously with Rivian. Rivian has a $110 billion valuation after its IPO this week. It's obviously been one of the best IPOs of the year and it's got an insane valuation, something that probably can't stay up because this is as of a few weeks ago, less than a month ago. Rivian has built 56 R1Ts, so that's their pickup, as of October 22, or two vehicles a day. And this is mostly to company employees, according to this article. That has just been an insane valuation. Also, this is spread to other companies like Lucid, who has come back from $19 a share just as of two months ago, all the way back up over 100%. And this is with them still not delivering that many vehicles. They commenced deliveries on their Lucid Air Dream to their very first customers as of this month. So... This has been crazy. There's been so much excitement. And that's where one of the SPAC companies that I invested in a while ago got me so excited. I actually made a video on this four months ago saying, this is my biggest SPAC buy ever. I've never bought this heavy into a stock on my initial buy. And I was so excited about it. And it's only been more and more valuable as time has gone on because of these other EVs that have just blown up. So what is this stock? Well, it's actually GGPI. If you haven't heard of it, they are merging with Polestar. Now, you might not have heard of them either, but they are actually pretty large internationally. So it's been floating around. I've gotten it under $10. Uh, I, I started buying around $10.50 or so, and then it fell back down. I bought it under $10. I sold a little bit to take a little bit of profit on one of these pumps, and then I've been holding on to the majority of it since then, and now it's up to over $13. So what is this company? Well, first of all, it's undervalued compared to some of these other companies, but you have to realize that this company, of course, if you compare it to traditional metrics, it's still overvalued, but when you compare it to some of these other EV stocks, it's just insane and can show that maybe it has a two, three, four, five X left in it. So this is being valued around $20 billion. When we compare that, to some of these other companies, the, the comparison is insane and they're already getting revenue. So they're estimating $1.6 billion of revenue in 2021. So let's compare it, right? We have, we have this car company that is actually outselling Tesla in certain, in certain areas. Uh, so they actually have an article on it here. Polestar 2, as of last year, outsold Tesla's Model 3 in Sweden and Norway in August. So pretty cool, right? Just kind of a flashy headline, but still, even with it around $13, it's a $27 billion market cap. Compare that to Lucid, it's basically one, uh, one third, one half the size. If you compare it to Rivian, it's a fourth the size and it's already got so much more production and they're already getting revenue. So they have already had 29,000 deliveries this year. And this is as of a little while ago when they were doing some press releases on October 1. So this is coming from Gores, Alec Gores. He's done several other big SPACs in the past. Uh, one of the most famous ones, probably Luminar, but they were doing this years ago. So that is very, very cool. And they already have, uh, they already have Volvo as kind of a backer because they're an offshoot from Volvo. And the reason, one of the reasons that they're getting a lot of 
publicity today, I think, is because of this article. GGPI is extremely undervalued and years ahead of other EV startups with a $35 price target. So he's saying that it could 3x from here. Now, this guy is a long is a long investor, so he already has shares. But when you compare it to some of these other valuations, it's just insane. And he lists them here, Luce at 72 billion, uh, Fisker at 5.9, Rivian at 103. The fact is they have so much going for them compared to some of these other companies. It's kind of interesting that they have not gotten more attention, which is why I brought it up months ago. When I saw this, it just seemed like an insane value. Now, of course, you have to do your own research, right? Tesla is so much more than a car company, and I think other people are trying to value these car companies like they could be the next Tesla. But Tesla is decades in front of some of these other companies, and they're doing more than just cars. So I don't think you compare these car companies to Tesla. I think you compare them to each other. And that's where I think GGPI makes so much sense because, again, it is a less than a half the market cap of Lucid, less than a fourth the market cap of Rivian, and it's just starting to get attention. So I have people asking me, is now the time to buy it? Well, honestly, it would have been smarter if you had bought before when I talked about it, but I have to say, it is still not that expensive when you compare it to these other car companies. Now, it could still fall down to $10. That's actually one of the reasons I was so excited about it first, because it was sitting at $10.50, and I saw so much potential upside. I've done this several times before with SPACs. There's so much potential upside with it around $10, and there's such a limited downside. Like, I was calculating it, even at $10, sometimes these fall back to $9.70 or something like that, but you can still redeem them for $10. There's so much, like, I want to say it's like potential energy, right? There's so much potential energy, but there's zero risk, essentially. I mean, not zero risk, but there's very little risk. And that's why I actually parked a bunch of my money in Polestar. So I, I or in GGPI, I basically parked all the cash that I was waiting to buy dips on and stuff like that in GGPI, which was awesome. So this is actually a decent sized position for me, even after shaving off half of it. I took like a five or 10% profit on half of it, just in case the market went through a little bit more of a dip. But I still think it's got a ton of potential now, especially when you compare it to these other stocks. But let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comment section. Let me know if you like GGPI or if you haven't started to research it yet. So many people will be thrown off by the fact it's up 30% a day and they won't want to touch it because of that. But again, when you compare it, it makes a lot of sense. And of course, it could fall back down. It's up 30%. I wouldn't be surprised if we fell 5 or 10 or 20% in the next few days. But when you look at when they actually merge, it's going to be kind of crazy. Now, I might take some profits on this. I most likely will. If we get into that $15 to $20 range, I will be taking some profits. But it's not really that risky compared to some of these other stocks, in my opinion. Again, thank you guys for checking out the links underneath the video. I'll put this on the end screen if, in case you want to hear a little bit more about GGPI. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.